evening, everybody, and welcome to Rochester. Alongside Kendra D. St. Aubin, are these the two best teams fighting for it tonight? Well, it was an interesting road to the championship. We had three teams tied atop the league at the end of regular season for first place, but these two teams deserve to be here. Rob Stone, Kendra D. St. Aubin, back here with you. Well, I think the U.S. was making it a goal to pick apart that China team. They knew that they are great at possession. They wanted to pressure them early, and that pressure is coming from the middle of the field, and that is how the U.S. is able to break them down. Welcome back to Diamondbacks Cardinals as the D-backs trail right now 7 to nothing in the bottom of the sixth inning. I'm here with Coach Sowers and Coach, maybe a couple missed opportunities early in the first quarter. You had great field position, only getting the field goals, but you had to feel good about that pass from Cartwright to Cole. The parity in this league has been evident the entire season, and this is really all about first impressions. The first full season here for the NWSL, everybody wants to make a good first impression. We're going to have a great two games today. Here with head coach Bruce Wayne of the LA Galaxy. First of all, you're playing one of the best teams in the world. We know that. How do you feel about your young forwards, what they've been able to do up front? Coach, how great was it to get back on track tonight? You guys struggled a little bit to end the regular season but get back on track tonight with the win. So obviously you guys were able to put some offense on the board early. What were you able to do against Joe Saunders tonight? Kayla we talk about kind of the recruiting process. You two are two of only three players not from the state of Arizona and not from the state of California. What made you want to come to this program? And you can see the look right there on Adriana French's face. Maybe just caught sleeping in the back. I understand you're pushing forward and you need to get a goal but that was off of a throw in. Great start here to the second half for the Lumberjacks. A fumble recovery, and now they're on this amazing offensive drive. That's what we expect to see from this defense. Highly touted. They've also had six picks on the season. Expect some more from them, and that got the offense going. Just want to take note here, guys. Coach Bruce Arena yelling on the sideline. Every time Ronaldo checks back to receive the ball, he's yelling, it's got to be you, Sean. He wants Sean Franklin right on Ronaldo's back. Every time he checks back, he does not want him getting any space. First, she gets the steal here, picks it off. Smart play by her with that full court press. And right here, she kind of creates the contact to draw that foul. That's a very smart play by the freshman. This was a really fun game to watch, and I think the Oregon Ducks are going to be disappointed. No moral victories in this one, but they have to be happy about how they played, the level of play, and the pace of play tonight. We knew this was going to be a great battle, of course. What a great start to the weekend as we head down to head coach Clint Myers for ASU. Coach, basically, what do you have to say about this performance tonight? Well, it was fun. It was really fun doing these two games. Pleasure to call the game with you. Hope to, hope to do this again as the Sun Devils sweep the UCLA Bruins for Kendra D. St. Alban. Thanks for letting us into your home this weekend.